57-year-old Dean Cowles was lucky that when he suddenly suffered a heart attack, he was at work at a company that makes emergency defibrillators. Once we started CPR, uh, Steve uh, hooked one of the pilots, I hooked the other one, he started doing the compressions, I did the mouth to mouth. Push to shock. Shocking. Every time I hear this story, I get goosebumps. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm just a little bit. It, it shakes me up every time I hear that story, but yes, I was dead. His colleagues managed to restart his heart. But what helped save his brain and left him remarkably undamaged was a simple procedure in the ER, chilling his body. It's called induced hypothermia. The idea is that cooling a comatose patient after a heart attack prevents brain damage. Any time you can take someone who comes into the hospital after having a cardiac arrest who may not ever wake up, and you can potentially change that to someone who can wake up and become back the person they were the day before. It's, it's an amazing thing to watch. Research has shown it can improve survival rate by 14%. Boy, you're still off the cigarettes. Yeah, Excellent. Good work. That. All right. I'm pleased. Thank you, thank you. We know that people's neurologic outcomes are, are likely to be better if they get it, but we don't completely understand what's happening in the brain cells for sure when the body's cooled. If you cool the brain down, it may be that it uses less energy and is less likely to damage itself. The fluid runs through this hose here. Ice packs can do the job but new devices make it easier to reduce and regulate temperature. The cooling pads are applied and we bring their body temperature down to 91 to 93 degrees and we keep them at that temperature for the first 24 hours, at which time we rewarm them. The American Heart Association recommended more than a year ago using induced hypothermia for cardiac arrest patients who are stable. This hospital uses it but most don't. It requires training and a lot of coordination. It should be more widely used. In medicine in general, we have many very expensive treatments that may make a marginal difference. Treatments that are potentially painful, that cost a lot. This is ice, and it's a treatment that's very simple, and it's a treatment that makes a big difference, the difference between waking up and not. Chilling the body may work miracles, but only if the patient survives to reach the hospital. Thanks to CPR and defibrillators, that's happening more often. And Dean Cowles is living proof. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.